of it. This is a big event. You know, I'm not going to pretend that I'm not emotional. I might get emotional about this. Uh, the guys that preceded me handled it very well. So they made it tough for me, but I'm going to give it a go. First of all, I'd like to express my appreciation to, to the commissioner, Peter Rozelle, and all of the other National Football League owners for making the game what it is today and what it was when I played. I loved it. I want to talk about some of those people that, uh, that impacted my life over the course of say, 18 years, 20 years. And when I reflect back, I have to start thinking about, thinking about high school, thinking about my uh, high school coaches, Coach Elliott, Coach Moore. See, I was a big guy around, but my heart wasn't as big as my body. And I didn't really want to play football, but they made me come out and play football. I want to I want to thank them for for not letting me quit when uh, when the weather got hot the sprints got hard the hits got devastating I think they made me a tougher person I also like to talk about my college coaches coach McCain who recruited me from Temple Texas Coach Mitchell, who gave me a scholarship. You see, when I first walked in, I didn't have a lot of offers. And I was really trying to get a scholarship. And I had learned kind of early that you have to make an impression. So when this guy that was responsible for giving me this scholarship, I wanted to make sure that he was impressed. So I spent, I never did like to work out. But uh, I spent a couple of weeks working with the barbells and trying to get my body looking good. And when I walked into his room, I had some cut off shorts and my, I had a, a sweatshirt on, cut off from the sleeves, and I had just pumped up. And I walked in and I tiptoed and I kind of braced a little bit and he said, you got it. You know, there is always mother. Mother. You know, she, she taught me how to love. How to have respect for other people. She also, she also taught me that, uh, to turn the other cheek. Fortunately for me, I learned at an early age, you only have one. My wife, Agnes, for supporting me all of those years when I uh, wasn't acting my age. for lifting my spirits when, when they were very low, for easing the pain that we all feel in this sport, and then finally for, for letting you know that you're not superhuman, that you're no superstar, you're just the husband. You gotta wash the dishes, pick up the clothes, and do all that other stuff. My kids, Major, Delon, Joe Kell, they gave me a stronger sense of responsibility. See, I'm glad they came along at the time that they did because I wanted them to, to love and respect my sport like I do, to understand what it means to see these people back here. 
This is my business. I want them to know about Paul Warfield, Gail Sayers, Jim Brown. I want them to know about those people. Gino Marchetti, Deacon, Mr. Donovan. I want them to know about them. Respect it. Mr. Bednarik, 14 seasons, offense and defense, football. I want to express thanks to my, uh, to my friends from, from Dallas, my relatives from Dallas, my friends from Denver, my very dear friends from Churchill, and good friends in the North Hills, Pittsburgh. See, when you win and you don't have anyone to share it with, why win? You have to have someone to share those things with. And they were there for all the Super Bowls and all the big victories. They made it worthwhile. <laughs>